Hi, Shannon F. Flaherty here. And earlier in the week in the group, I asked a question, what do you think surrendering means? And I really love it when everybody actually answers those questions because it creates a bit of a dialogue, a bit of a conversation in the group with other like-minded people. And these are questions to get you thinking because sometimes we never even really think about our higher purpose or our higher connection to source energy, to infinite intelligence, the creator of all there is, great spirit, God, universal love, whatever you want to call it. So it's funny because I was just having this conversation with a close friend of mine the other night about surrendering. And I've always really disliked that word surrendering and sacrifice because it sounds so negative, like I'm giving up my power or something, or I'm, I'm going to become weak by surrendering. But if you reframe that as surrendering your resistance, because I think sometimes I walk my walk, I talk my talk and I walk my walk. And so if my faith is truly what it is, that I believe everything is always working out for me, that I believe that I am held and nurtured and that what I give out to the world comes back to me, then why on earth would I ever have a doubt or ever worry about anything when I can just trust in divine intelligence, when I can trust in that higher God part of myself? Because the word surrendering also sounds like you're giving it up to some other thing outside of yourself, but we are all one. We are all that God part of ourselves. We are all connected to each other. Our faith is us. Our faith is part of our higher intelligence, right? So let go of your resistance to the doubt of your faith. Let go of your resistance to being free from anxiety or worry when we can just go through life knowing that however the journey happens, because sometimes the journey is not the way we've planned at all. Sometimes it's a bit rockier, a little bit more challenging or a lot more challenging than, we, than the picture in our heads of how we think it's supposed to be. So how would it be if when that journey is getting pretty challenging, instead of fighting it and thinking, no, why is this happening? I'm having such a hard time. It's not supposed to be like this. It isn't fair, blah, blah, blah. Okay, yep, those are all feelings. So honor what you feel. But instead of staying in that fighting and resisting mode that whole time, how about if you just went... I'm going to take a deep breath. I'm going to relax. I'm going to drink some water. And I'm going to think like, okay, well, this is, this is interesting, God. This isn't the way I planned it. But um, obviously, everything happens in divine time. And everything happens in divine order. And that's why we're in this perfect place right now. And so how would it be if you relaxed into whatever it was and allowed the process to unfold as it is unfolding. To me, that allowing of yourself to flow with whatever is coming your way is what surrendering is. But I like the word allow much better than surrender. <laughs> and sacrifice also, what are you sacrificing? That's like, what are you giving up? Well, I would like to say I'm giving up that resistance and doubt and that fear and all of that kind of quiet worry that niggles away inside of us because when you can practice giving that up when you can practice being in a place of resistance then you're also practicing being in a place of divine flow of divine order of divine presence and of divine timing and then it's much easier to be aligned in your body and connected and one with that God, that first love light vibration part of yourself that we all have. So I encourage you to embrace your situation, 
you know, there's so many times when you've gone through something and you've struggled and you've fought with something. And then after it all is finished, you look back retrospectively and you think, huh, oh yeah, well, if that hadn't happened, then I wouldn't have met this person. And then that wouldn't have happened. And then this wouldn't have happened. And then I wouldn't have learned all of these great lessons for it happening that way. And none of that was the way that you planned it. <laughs> so sometimes we can't see the gift in the situation because we're right in the middle of it. But if we can retain that kind of wisdom and knowledge when we are struggling, then it makes it easier to surrender that struggle. Surrender that struggle. Give that up to God. Give that up to the light. Allow your light and your flow energy to come in and to guide you wherever you're going. And then you can surrender all of the tough stuff up to the higher power that each one of us has. And if you integrate that and practice that every day, your relationship with everything, most importantly, yourself, your sacred heart self will change. If you want to learn how to do that and really make that your default program, I'd love to speak to you. We just had the intro call for the next run of From Fear Into Love, but actually the class, the first mandatory coaching call starts next week on Tuesday. And so my students are getting access to the classwork right now. So there's still time for you to register and sign up and literally change your life in 12 weeks. In fact, everybody shifts in week one. <laughs> so change your life in one week. But yeah, a 12 week program to really get you into a whole new level of consciousness so that you can stop sweating the small stuff and stop resisting all of the challenges around you so that you can learn to surrender them up to God and allow all of the goodness that is fundamentally your birthright to come to you now. So if that interests you, I'd love to speak to you. Private message me. I'll put a link on here too. And it would be great to have a conversation. If there's no more appointments in my calendar, just send me a private message and we'll sort out a time together when we can speak. I love you all so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.